What's up, everybody? This is the Jedi. I am just doing this because I, I have to share this right now. Um, I also have produced a um, a video regarding my thoughts on Travis Scott. Um, I wasn't going to do a piece on that, but I had been provoked by the fact that there was lawsuits, and then some of you asked me about it, and that just confirmed that I was right in doing it. I just didn't release it because I don't like to stack videos on top of you, you know. But I am going to put this one out, and then after this, I'm just going to go ahead and put the Travis Scott video out. <clears throat> um, it shouldn't be too much for you all. Most of you all are people who have been with me forever. You're used to long videos. So, you know, this one's maybe a half hour. I don't know what it's going to be. And then the Travis Scott thing is be a bit. So you're looking at about a total hour, you know, whatever. But um, I was watching, um, there's a channel that I watch called the Institute of Human Anatomy. And um, it's a channel that I visit every once and again, um, as often as I can. There's a lot of um, information there. They do a lot of dissection of cadavers and things like that. I've always been fascinated with that since I was a child. In fact, um, I had wanted to be a physician. And that's what I was saying earlier, early on. In fact, my parents even bought me this model. It was called the Amazing Breathing Man. And it was just a plastic model that you put together that had a plastic thing that you put in it. You could see through it. It was this plastic thing that you insert in there to it. It was the lungs and they were also transparent. And then my, my stepmother would literally buy me cigarettes to use for the model so that when you pull the diaphragm, you can see the, it inhale and so whatever. But I was never freaked out by, you know, an, uh, anatomy. You know, I'm not, I, I, to this day, I watch open heart surgeries. I watch brain surgery. I watch um, gallstones. I, it just anything to do with anatomy, I'm here for it. I'm not squeamish about blood or any of that stuff. I, found, I find beauty in it. And most of the time I'm crying because... I really do see the majesty of the one who created us all. And that's why I'm bringing you this. I'm linking this video. I could play portions of it, but I don't want to do that out of respect for these two and their baby. This is a beautiful couple. And um, this is her first child that she's given birth to. And... Why I was inspired to bring this and share this with you, the video is only, I think, 17 minutes long, but it's well done. It's very beautiful. And um, there's so many beautiful parts of it, you know. Um, I can't talk about it all because I don't, I just don't want to ruin it for you. There are so many beautiful moments, you know, um, the generations even when you see how the father of the of the husband right here how his father reacts and then her sister and her mother you know and at one point her mother is holding her and I just it's a beautiful thing to see that this mother is holding her daughter who is now giving birth to a child you know it's just it just if you somebody that lives and recognizes the spiritual realm and, you know, the presence of God in, in life, then I tell you, you are in the right space because that's really part of our mission here on earth is to be recognizing and honoring and submitting to the one who creates. But the thing that really pushed me, because it would have just been enough to say, look, everybody, this is so beautiful. You got to go and see this. This is black love at the highest and oh my God. But it was more than that for me because it really centered me even more firmly in my objection that I now classify as an absolute disdain for this whole idea of transgender. I fully reject it not having it, 
not acknowledging it, not accepting it. I don't need to. Because just even when you see this video, when you see this sister when her water breaks, and then the many hours over time that they're filming, you know, and like she said, she couldn't get everything. But, and by the way, before I watched this, I was watching what got me on this because I was watching cesarean sections because I learned that all of them are not the same. It depends on the doctor, it depends on the patient, depends on if there's a few things. There's, I mean, there's different angles and it's, it's a few things, dude. It's not what I thought I knew. You know, cesarean section is very involved. It's, um, it's, um, I just have a whole nother respect for it, really. You know, certainly understanding. But this sister was natural childbirth. And she is going through it. I mean, even that statement, don't, it don't tell it. The, what a woman has to go through, whether it's C-section or natural birth, is you'd rather just walk barefooted on the surface of the earth, of the sun or cross hot coals or something. It is no joke. And it is in the timing of Allah. You cannot rush it. It's when he has determined the moment. Because at one point she's been at 13 or three centimeters for an eternity. Like her water's already broke. And then now forever she's at three centimeters. Like, and the torture, she's bent over. She's restless. She's going through pain. Contractions are happening. She Then they put her in a bath. And she's I mean, she doesn't want an epidural because she had decided she was going to listen to her body. This is her first child. It was just a whole... you you. you this is why I watch things by myself because you could, I absorb it more fully, you know, like a terry cloth towel. You just pick up everything. So I was really able to absorb the full emotion of it and really appreciate the jihad that it is and yet beautiful miracle that it is for a woman to give birth to any of us, y'all. I mean, I looked at my own hands and feet while watching this and thinking about my mother who I never met. I told y'all my mom died when I was six months. I spent the first year of my life in the hospital. My mother died of tuberculosis. But just that I'm a grown man now and I came through this vessel is a gift and a miracle all at the same time. And their baby is so beautiful. She's, I, that's when I really lost it. It was just like, glory be to the throne of Allah. Look at this perfection. It's, it's just, it just took me. I was swept away by it. And I think you will be too. But <clears throat> I just thought in that moment too, like, I wonder how many of these damn transgender ass fake people have even sat down and watched a video like this. How many, how many of them know what a cesarean section looks like? How many of them know what a natural childbirth looks like? What a woman has to go through? It's not heels and makeup and hair. There's so much more to the divinity of a woman. The divinity. And as convicted as I am as a man who comes from a family mostly of women, I told you guys I have five sisters and there's there's two boys that are older than me. There would have been three, but one died before I was born. And just reared in that way, I always had the reverence and respect for my sisters, my grandmother who raised me. And then certainly as a Muslim, the tenants that Allah has ordained for me as a man and my approach and understanding and how I should treat women and things like that, that all comes natural for me. But this convicts me even more because 
excuse me, I just felt like any man that would witness this, you just feel like you have to turn to your woman and say, you don't have to do shit else on earth. That you, that you don't have to do nothing else. Because there's no position, there's no career, there's no title that equals this or produces this life. It, it's beyond. And I even thought about my oldest niece. I guess it was 2005 or six or something. And she had her second child and I, I was at the hospital. In fact, I was mad at her boyfriend because I had to drag him along and, and threaten him. Like, you're going to be at that damn hospital. You work, you know, you're supposed to be a man. You, you're supposed to be there and blah, 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 blah. You know, hours I was sitting up in that damn hospital. And then he finally left and went home because he's a punk bitch. I'm still mad about that. But I realized in watching this today that I didn't really appreciate my niece's um, experience because I was just there in a different context. You know, this was her second child. When she had her first child, I was still living in Maryland. And, and she had a son then, but now this time she was having a girl. And, but I was there in the context of her uncle and this is my niece and, you know, and just wanting her to be okay and thinking about her life and what I wanted for her and, what this means and the dude that she's with. And it was just a different context for me. I couldn't really receive the beauty of it and the majesty of it because, and maybe it's just because of my relationship to her, I'm her uncle, you know, whatever the reason, um, I didn't get that behold that I feel because this is the only one I watch, but this one, I just, this is the most, beautiful one and you know there was another couple of other sisters in fact everybody that I seen was a sister when I started out watching the cesarean section that was a sister that was on the table and um and it wasn't blurred out it was just like straightforward from beginning to end I even know how long it takes now like I never thought about it you know and all they have to do and stuff like that and I was thinking about my sister in New York all three of her children she had by c-section it gave me a different empathy for her in that regard. Um, even though she is a total disaster and I talk smack about her, but I still have to respect that. But it was just, um, and I just felt increasingly more insulted as if, as, as just as a man, um, by this whole idea of these confused ass people proclaiming themselves to be a fucking transgender. Like no shade to you if you're some kind of transgender, but you need to you need to categorize and step back and understand what who you are, because you're not a woman. That's a hundred percent. You are not. You cannot. You will not. You are 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 not. And I cast myself as the defender of all African women. Because that's the women I'm concerned about on the earth. Those, That's the women that I feel connected to. I feel understood by. I feel empathy, love, protection, devotion, loyalty, all those things. I feel for black women. I just don't feel that for other women. I just don't feel it. I just, I just don't feel it. I just don't. You can't make the heart feel something it doesn't, you know? And so that's just my authenticity. But you need to go and see this because it really is such an affront to all that is female. And especially the crescendo here at the end. That's why I stopped it here and chose this, this to have on the screen because this is kind of after it's all over. And now he's kissing his woman, his wife. And they have their beautiful baby. And it's it's such a beautiful thing, man. And I just thought, you can't encroach on that. You, you can't. That the stop sign, barb wire, bob wire, electric fence right here. Beware of dogs. Uh, you understand? Do not trespass. You understand? Um, 
So it's one thing if you're gay and you, you know, you're ha you want to have sex with men and women, then you're just a slut. Then that's fine. Just be a slut. Just call yourself a slut and just go have the sex you want to have. That's fine. That's between you and God. That That's fine. Fine. But you will not step to the divinity, the sacred temple that is a woman. You don't get to do that, even for one woman, before you even get to childbirth. But this is like the, 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 the closing argument, the strongest piece of evidence. I mean, even the first sister that I watched, this, that where she was given after childbirth, it was just, I mean, I was... I was worn out watching it, the pushing, the waiting, the contractions. But this sister really describes it the best when she's talking about it at the end. Like, I don't want to spoil that for you either. So I'm trying to be careful of what I say. I don't really want to give anything away because I really want you to really be able to absorb it your own way and have your own thing is so beautiful man they're such a beautiful couple and i just fell in love with just even watching and being able to have the honor of witnessing i'm so glad that they shared this you know with humanity quite frankly but there's a lesson in here for men a huge lesson for men i want you to watch this and i want you to think about yourself i want you to think about yourself and i also believe it, it occurred to me, I think that before any male can have even a girlfriend, which y'all know I'm against that, you should, you're supposed to be working to have a wife, but before you can even have a girlfriend, you have to watch videos like this. You have to watch childbirth, you have to watch Syrian sections, natural childbirth, and things like that. Before you can even touch or kiss a, 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 a female, you don't get to. Because you got to understand what it is that you're approaching. This is a sacred creature, a sacred angel, a mate that Allah has given to mankind, to man, to produce him, to reproduce him, to support, to to be his his equal, to 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 bear his children, to educate him and the children, because that's why women are smarter than us. No matter how many degrees we have, a woman with the same degree is 50 times smarter than us. We see that it just even in Barack and Michelle. He's president, my God, she was the most popular. Because she just, she has it. Women have something that we just don't have and that we're not supposed to have it. But we have to honor their majesty. And when you see videos like this, you, it just, for me, it confirms. And for others, it will be a revelation, you know. But I'm definitely firm, 100% no on this transgender bullshit. Nah. Nah. If I had been at the SBs, I would have snatched that damn Versace dress off of Bruce Jenner. Him. Just because you grow long hair and put on a wig and a fucking dress. Like, I, I just, like, if I, I'm this worked up about it and I'm a dude. If I was a woman, I'd be out with a hot pitchfork. I believe that. It's such an affront to the woman, man. But these are the same people who want to tell you that women who are submitting to the way of life that is Islam in Afghanistan who cover themselves, that they're oppressed. And the women and girls are just, oh, and they're just going through it and they just have no freedoms and they just can't. But you're desecrating the very definition of women here in this asshole of the devil. It's such a contradiction. It's such a contradiction. Wow. 
I've said and I'll say again, it is time for women, women to get back up on your damn throne and stay the fuck up there. You don't come down for shit. You don't even look down. You need to go and relearn who you are. Understand who you really are. It's kind of like somebody who's been living on the streets, you know, and somebody comes and says, you know, asks them their name and they find out their name and go, you don't, you, you don't know who you are. And then they take them someplace and they get them cleaned up and they, you know, take them into an office and say, you, you don't know, but your grandfather was such and such. And they, here's a trust that you have, you know, $150 million. Like, you don't know. Like, what? You know, so this is the woman now. You know, you need to go and learn who you are and then act thusly. Start asserting yourself as the goal and the prize, not the other way around. I'm telling you, dude, like when I just, it was already enough. I was, this was a very emotional um, piece for me, but when she was in those last many hours of labor and contractions and people trying to hold her and give her something to drink and she just, I, there was no rest for her. And then the connection between her and the baby was just everything. She talks about that last drop and it's just, I'm just not having it, you know? And any of these confused as transgender people, you need to just direct them to this video. When you can do that, come holla at me, bruh. When you can do that, then you, you we can discuss. I'll buy lunch. I'll buy it. We'll, we'll go to Spago's. That's fine. Why not? Why not? I don't drink, but I'll over order you seven, y'all. Why not? Why not? When you can do that, then you'll have all the respect and you can bitch about um, anti, I don't know what they fucking call it when you, when you hurt their feelings. I don't remember and I don't care. But it, then you can make those claims. Then you can make those claims. I'll back you up even. Be right there with you. Hot pitchfork and all. Until then, shut up and sat your ass down. Go and watch the video, everybody. I'm linking it. Be educated, be inspired, be renewed by it. And to men everywhere, seek out more things like this so that your frame of mind changes and you're just not seeing women as some piece of meat and what they can do for you. But they should, you should see them with an eye of honor and respect. That's what you should see. And then you won't be predators upon them. And to women that may need validation, let this validate you. Let this educate you. Let it remind you. There is nothing else in creation like you. And for all the cat and dog and giraffe and elephant videos that I've watched giving birth, this is giving birth to the crown of creation, another human being. There is nothing greater than that than the one who creates. The Jedi has spoken.